so breaking. The smoke detectors never went off. That's what we've learned about an apartment fire in West Pullman that seriously injured a young boy. CBS 2's Charlie DeMars live at the scene. And this isn't the first time there's been safety concerns at that building. Charlie. Brad, good afternoon. This building was last inspected in 2018 and was cited for a number of violations. But right now, the focus is on that young boy. Witnesses tell me that he had burns from head to toe. If you take a look at that second floor, second store, story apartment, rather, that is where this fire started, where this family stayed. Uh, we are told the boy's mother, along with two other siblings, are being treated for smoke inhalation at nearby hospitals. A woman strapped to a stretcher, clutching her child, rushed from a burning apartment at 121st and Indiana, now in stable condition. The mom, she's burnt on her forearm. It's, it was just bad and a very bad sight to see. You know, I'm, I feel so sorry for them. I hope they get better. Along with the woman, a boy no older than 13 was severely burned. Nikki Johnson lives in the building and tried helping as paramedics arrived. By the time we came off the elevator, we saw the burn victim. His body burnt from head to toe, skin peeling, clothes burnt off and everything. CFD says the fire was contained to just one apartment. Firefighters did not hear smoke detectors. It's a bad building and people need to start saying stuff about, it, about this building. According to city records, the building failed at least 17 various inspections since 2005 and has been cited for multiple violations related to the boiler system and elevators. Now, the building is still cordoned off. People are being displaced. Crime scene tape is still up here. That boy with those severe burns, he's being treated at Comer Children's Hospital. His mother and other two siblings, they are also at nearby hospitals and expected to be okay. We are live in the West Pullman neighborhood. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News.